Hi, I'm Renee. Welcome to my channel. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? That is because I've been beamed up into the mothership with my first Pat McGrath mothership palettes. I am dying to get into this box, so I'm just going to open it right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that was a whole lot easier than I expected. Whoop, I am making a mess. Okay. There we go. So I have both palettes in the limited edition packaging. For me, the ordering process was very non-problematic. Um, I cut my teeth on limited edition sales back in the old days of Mac and indie nail polish sales. So I was pretty much prepared. I got in and out in about a minute. I have, which one is this? This is the Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2. And so this is Mothership 7 Divine Rose. The packaging is so pretty. Like I said, these are my very first Mothership palettes. I have seen and heard things about the Pat McGrath for a while, but I never made a purchase. But since my birthday was coming up and I saw that this was releasing, I decided to go ahead and get both of them as a birthday present to myself. So let's see. I am not sure. It should be simple. Why do it? There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And the name card for the eyeshadow colors. I am definitely keeping the packaging to these palettes. I will have them displayed. The artwork is just beautiful. And here is the Wine Rose limited edition packaging. Okay, so, oops, yeah, I need the name card. So one is just kind of like a pink, rose pink, and the other one is more like a rose gold. <laughs> I was so excited, I nearly got the name cards wrong with the palette. Okay, I'm just going to do Divine Rose 2 first. Just because, oh, wow, wow. This, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. This is so pretty. Okay. And I'll um, open. Divine Rose. Now side by side, I can see how they're related because of the color scheme. How am I going to swatch these? What's, you know, I'm not going to think, I'm just going to, we'll do Divine Rose 2 first. 
Okay. They feel very nice. So the first one is Skin Show, what is it? Skin Show Rose Opal. It does, it looks beige in the pan, but on my skin, it has a pink tone to it. Naked blush. These feel really, really nice. Eleganza is the next color. Wow. I'm not even really an eyeshadow person and I'm getting excited over this. Okay, next we have Bronze Rosé 005. That is pretty. Gold Lust 001. is the top row very pretty so this color is skin show rose opal naked blush eleganza bronze rose 005 gold lust 001 now for the bottom row we have Extreme Burgundy. I wish, oh wow. This is very pretty. I was about to say, I wish that um, I could fit all the colors on my arm, the entire palette, but <laughs> I just don't have the space for it. The next color is Divine Dust. Very pretty. Rose Seduction. This is very vibrant hot pink color. Now I gotta figure out if I if my kind of makeup looks I could come up with these. But these three alone is very pretty. VR Sextra Terrestrial. It feels different. Whoa, whoa, is this? It's shifting. I'm very familiar with this in nail polish. We call them multi-chromes, but I guess I've been out of the eyeshadow loop <laughs> for a while. This is crazy. Is this real? Oh my goodness. I, okay, let me keep going. Hold on. Wow. What kind of magic is this? Let me let me keep going. Let me keep going. Astral Pink Moon. Okay. Ooh, look at that sparkle. This is blowing my mind right here. Again, the color names are Extreme Burgundy, Divine Dust, Rose Seduction, VR Sextra Terrestrial Astral Pink Moon. 
I'm at a loss for words. This is really mesmerizing just to look at. I wonder how this will appear on the eye, but this is amazing to me. Another look at the Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 palette. Moving on to the original Divine Rose. Now, since this is an older palette, I'm quite sure there are swatches galore that are already available. But since it's new to me, I'm going to swatch it anyway. <laughs> All right, so Skin Show Nude. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be so opaque and it feels creamy in application. Hmm. Valoria. That is a nice mauve matte. Sable Bronze. This is really pretty. I'm really liking the texture as I'm swatching the colors. They're very smooth and creamy. Refined Gold 002. Kind of looks like the other gold to me, but I will, after I swatch the entire palette, I'll compare colors as well. This is pretty. And then Iridescent Pink 003. Oh! Oh! Wow! Okay! I was not expecting that. It looks white in the pan, but it's more more magic. More magic, that's what's happening here. Now I see all the hype. Wow. This is crazy to me. <laughs> Very pretty. Going through the names again, Skin Show Nude, Valoria, Sable Bronze, Refined Gold 002, Iridescent Pink 003. On to the second row, we have Extreme Mahogany. That is lovely oh my gosh and one of my favorite movies of all time is mahogany starring diana ross this is a gorgeous color love lace is next This, I really love the color scheme of both palettes. They're very complementary to each other. Rose Dusk. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, I'm really not over exaggerating. I'm just really, really liking what's happening here. And again, the texture. Wow. VR Rose Venus. Very pretty. I wasn't sure if it was also going to do some type of magic <laughs> like the the other shades. 
and the last color is Astral Solstice. It's sheer. It seems like a, a topper. Very pretty. Extreme Mahogany. Love Lace. Rose Dust. VR Rose Venus. Astral Solstice. For my own curiosity, I'm going to swatch colors from both palettes just to compare them, just to see how similar and how different they are. So from Divine Rose 1, I want to compare Extreme Mahogany with Divine Rose 2 Extreme Burgundy. So you can see the mahogany has more brown. And I'm also curious next to rose dust. And divine dust. very complimentary. I will be using these palettes to do my makeup look for my birthday, which is this Saturday, June 6th. I was planning something entirely different, but I have to play with these. So I will actually be changing my look <laughs> to use these palettes, but I am excited for it. And then I will share the picture on my Instagram when that happens, but I am, I, I, I get it. I was late to the party, but I definitely arrived. Look at this. Next, I'll compare Skin Show Nude with Skin Show Rose Opal. It's like they're the same texture, but you could clearly see that one is leaning white and the other one is leaning pink. And Valoria compared with Eleganza. Hmm. Again, it's interesting how I'm just mixing different colors and they're just going together. They're just complementing each other. I understand, Miss McGrath. Wow. Another comparison. Let's see, VR Rose Venus next to Bronze Rose 005. Ooh, more peachy. And so how is that next to Naked Blush? I will swatch Rose Seduction next to that one. I want to compare some of these gold colors. Refined Gold 002 next to Gold Lust 001. Gold Lust is definitely more yellow. And Astral Solstice is 
next to astral pink moon. You can see the differences in tone, although astral pink moon seems similar but not quite the same as refined gold. Definitely more sheer, more sparkly. There's like iridescent pink colors in there. And it seems also a lot thinner upon swatching, more than likely for it to be a topper. Lastly, I want to compare the magicians. So that is iridescent pink, 003. I just, I just can't get over it. My mind is blown. And VR Sextraterrestrial. I'm, uh, I am at a loss for words. I, I, I just, look at this. They are so beautiful. My first impressions of these two palettes, I love them. I, I get it. I see why there is so much hype for this brand. It's $125 for each palette, you know, so you are spending a nice amount of money. So you definitely want to make sure that the quality is in line with the price point and just based on swatches i am very pleased i'll have to wear them on the eye to really get to really get a feel for them but i'm blown away just swatching them on my arm the colors the textures the consistency the way everything complements and works well with each other color wise the variation between the matte and the shimmers and the magician <laughs> shades i don't know what else to call them but i am really impressed i am very pleased i decided to go ahead and take the plunge and finally try one of these palettes i guess i should say two and i also really like that i was able to get the limited edition packaging for both the Divine Rose and Divine Rose 2. I'm, I'm a convert, I'm a fan, and if you've been watching my videos so far, you typically know how this goes. You will be seeing more Pat McGrath palettes, and now I'm interested in checking out some of her lip products as well, so you will definitely be seeing more of Pat McGrath showing up on my channel. If you are new to Pat McGrath like I am, let me know. What do you think of these palettes and these colors? Are you going to pick something up? If you have been a long time Pat McGrath user, give me some tips. Let me know how I can get the most out of these palettes. Any tips and tricks that you may have to share. I also want to take a moment to say that with things are the way they are right now, it is especially important to make sure that you grab something that brings you joy and hold on to it. For me right now, my joy is coming in the form of makeup and I am going to enjoy it, have fun with it because it is really important that you do things that helps you keep your sanity and your spirits uplifted during times of difficulty. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until the next video, bye.